Hey guys, so today's video, I'm going to be doing my predictions. Um, well, first I'm going to tell you guys that I haven't been uploading on this channel for two weeks. Um, if you want to find out why I haven't been uploading in two weeks on this channel and my main channel, you can watch yesterday's main channel video to find out why. Because if I tell you guys that, today's video is going to be probably longer than it already is. No, than I think. Mainly because today's video, there are three things that I need to cover up. And it may, may take about six to ten minutes to cover everything up. And there are three things. So this video might be a half hour long. Hopefully it doesn't. Depends on how fast I am at this. But the first thing I'm going to cover up. I'm going to do this in order. So the first thing I'm going to cover up is my NXT TakeOver predictions for New Orleans. I haven't done an NXT TakeOver New Orleans or NXT TakeOver in general predictions video ever on this channel. Um, so I'm going to cover up my predictions for that. And I'm also going to cover up my predictions for the <coughs> for WrestleMania 34 this Sunday. I cannot wait for WrestleMania. It's going to be lit this year and I'm so excited to watch it. I'm very excited for half of the matches on the card. But I'll get into those matches later. And then the third thing I'm going to cover up is my predictions and rumors on who Braun Strowman's partner could be at WrestleMania this year. So, I mean, there's been tons of rumors that it could be either Dean Ambrose, Samoa Joe, Bobby Lashley. But I'll get more into that later on in the video when it comes around. So, the first thing I'm going to talk I'm going to talk about is my predictions for NXT TakeOver. So before I get into it, if you haven't subscribed yet, go to go ahead and do that. Give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for WrestleMania and NXT TakeOver like I am. I am so excited. So let's just get into it. So I'm going to start off with the NXT TakeOver New Orleans predictions. Um, so I have them on my phone here on Wikipedia. <coughs> oh my goodness. Um... Just see we upload a new video. I'm definitely going to watch that after I upload this. Okay. Um, the first match is Andre. Uh, the, I'm pretty sure these aren't in order. Because normally the NXT Championship match is last on NXT TakeOvers. But we'll see. Um, the first match that it says here is Andrade C. and Almas defending the NXT Championship against Aleister Black. Um, I'm going to go with Aleister Black for this because it seems like every... NXT took over before Wrestlemania there's always the NXT championship it seems like the NXT championship always switches hands every NXT takeover before Wrestlemania so if that's the case this year I'm gonna go with Aleister Black so I think he's gonna win plus I love Aleister Black way more than I love Andrade because I really like Aleister Black I think he's great so um I'm going with Al Alistair for those two reasons. One, I love him. Two, well, one, I think is great, and he's amazing. And two, it seems like every NXT TakeOver before WrestleMania, that title switches hands to NXT Championship. So I'm going to go with Alistair for that. The next one is Ember Moon defending the NXT Women's Championship against Shayna Baszler. Now, Asuka isn't the champion, for NXT now. So I don't know. If the champion is going to retain. Because Asuka is undefeated. Um, the Empress of Tomorrow is undefeated. Um, so I'm going to go with. Oh my goodness. I don't know who I'm going to go with. Um, who I'm going to go with. I can't think of any who I'm going to go with yet. I'm going to go with Ember. I think she's going to keep it. <laughs> um, the more I thought about my prediction for that match, the more I thought Ember was going to win, so I'm going to go with Ember. Um, the Undisputed Era versus the Authors of Pain versus Roderick Strong and Pete Dunne. is a triple threat tag team match for the NXT Championship. Tag Team Championship and Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Trophy. Um, 
The NXT Tag Team Champions are the Undisputed Era, Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly, by the way. Um, so, I'm going to go with the Undisputed Era. I think, I honestly think they're going to keep the titles and win the Dusty Rose Tag Team Classic Trophy. I, I, <coughs> oh my goodness. Um, see, I haven't won, I haven't watched NXT since... The last time I watched anything NXT related is the NXT TakeOver, the pre most previous NXT TakeOver, where I think Andrade Cien Almas was defending the NXT Championship against Johnny Gargano. That was the last time I ever watched NXT, and I watched a bit the NXT after NXT TakeOver that night, but I only saw Bianca Belair wrestle, and that was it. <laughs> so, never watched NXT. Actually, yeah, I have. That scared me, but I, I, that scared me a second because I heard the bag rattling and, and I thought some, like a mouse was down there, but I actually just had my phone touching the bag. It scared me a bit, but yeah, I'm going to go with the Undisputed Era. Um, I haven't, like I said, I haven't, the last time I watched NXT was upstairs like a month or two ago, so it's been a while since I last watched NXT. So, but yeah, I'm going to go with the Undisputed Era for that. Next match is a ladder match for the inaugural NXT North American Championship. It is Adam Cole versus EC3 versus Killian Dane versus Lara Sullivan versus Ricochet versus Velveteen Dream. I'm going to go with EC3 for this. I don't know. It just seems like my gut really thinks... AC, EC3 will win, so I'm going to go with EC3 for winning that. And the final match is Johnny Gagano versus Tommaso Ciampa. I think I'm going to go with Johnny Gagano because because of what Tommaso did to Johnny. I think Johnny is going to get really, really pissed off, you know, and take it all out on Tommaso and eventually win that match, so I'm going to go with Johnny Gargano for that. So those are all of the matches for NXT TakeOver New Orleans. That's happening tomorrow night. Um, I almost said tonight, but it's tomorrow night. Um, tonight is the Hall of Fame induction ceremony, and I'm really, really excited to see Mark Henry again, and Goldberg, and... Edge and Christian is inducting the Dudleys into the Hall of Fame. I think they're inducting the Dudleys. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they are. But anyway, those are all of the matches for NXT TakeOver. Like I said, Hall of Fame is tonight. NXT TakeOver New Orleans tomorrow night. And then WrestleMania is Sunday night. And I'm so excited. My aunt's coming up to watch WrestleMania with me. I asked her tonight. If, I asked her if she's coming to watch um, the Hall of Fame induction ceremony tonight with me. She said she's not sure about that. She'll have to think about it. But she said she's definitely going to walk, come up and watch WrestleMania. Well, if not all of WrestleMania, she's going to come up and watch at least most of it. Most of WrestleMania Sunday night. So I'm really excited to watch it with her. Um, so, yeah. So let's now, now let's move on to the WrestleMania 34 card. And my predictions for WrestleMania 34. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay, there's a lot of matches on this thing. And there's one match that may or may not be happening. I'm not, it's not confirmed that this match will happen yet, but I'm still going to make my predictions for that at the end of this prediction. Not really prediction video, but at the end of my WrestleMania 34 predictions before I move on to my predictions on who Braun Strowman's partner could be. I'm going to tell you guys the prediction for the match that may or may not be happening at WrestleMania this Sunday. So the first one... is the first match, the first three matches on the WrestleMania card are happening on the pre-show, which which airs here where I live, 6.30 p.m. So, the first match on the pre-show is the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. I'm going to go with Matt Hardy because, I don't know, it just seems like one of the matches for NXT TakeOver New Orleans like I said, for that one of those matches for NXT TakeOver, 
it seems like my gut kind of wants to go with Matt Hardy, so... Plus, I have a feeling he may win that match, or maybe one of the final, like, five or something in it, so I'm going to go with Matt Hardy. The next one is WrestleMania Women's Battle Royal. Um, for the Women's Battle Royal Trophy. Um... I'm going to go with, okay, I have two picks for this, or two predictions for this. Um, I think it's either going to come between Sasha or Bailey, Sasha Bangs or Bailey. I'm not sure which one yet, but if I had to pick, I'd probably choose Sasha? I'm not sure who I'm going to choose between Sasha or Bailey, but as of now, I'm stuck. <laughs> so... Is, uh, my pick is either Sasha or Bailey, one of those two, winning that battle royal. And the final match on the pre-show is Cedric Alexander versus Mustafa Ali for the Cruiserweight Championship, which is vacant. It's the final round tournament for it. I'm going to go with Cedric. Mainly because he've had, he's had he's been the number one contender for Enzo's, Enzo Mori's Cruiserweight title um, for a long-ass time now. Plus, he, I could tell he really, really wants it, and he's going to fight for it no matter what, so I'm going to go with Cedric Alexander for it. Next one is Brock Lesnar defending the Universal Championship Roman Reigns. Now, this match is pretty too predictable to me. Even my friend Sarah said it. Um, she thinks it's also a very predictable match. That's why we're both going with Roman Reigns for this. Um, she told me that she's going with Roman for it. As well, and my other friend from school, I don't want, really want to say a name. I shouldn't have said Sarah's name because, like, I, didn't, I don't know if she wants to, but whatever. <laughs> um, but my other friend from school, Sarah doesn't go to my school. She lives somewhere else. Um, oh, sugar. Um, okay, there we go. I accidentally clicked on Nia Jax. And I didn't mean to do that, but now I'm back to the, to the page that the card is on. Anyways, um, my friend from school also said Roman Reigns. He thinks Roman Reigns will win. Um, so, I'm going to go with Roman because, one, he it's been long overdue for him to have a universal title reign. And two, every pretty much every prediction video for WrestleMania 34 I've seen, all they said was, Roman Reigns is going to win this. Roman Reigns is going to beat Brock Lesnar for the universal title. So, I'm going with Roman. Plus, I believe, too, that he's going to win it. So, I'm going with Roman, with Roman for that one. Um, so, I'm like getting spammed by Musical.ly notifications right now. Okay, so the next match is AJ Styles defending the WWE Cruiserweight Championship against Shinsuke Nakamura. I'm going with Nakamura. I think, I think now's his time to win that championship. So... That's pretty much the only reason why I'm going with Nakamura is that I feel that it's good, that this is going to be his time to win that title is this Sunday. So, yeah, I'm going with Nakamura for that one. The next one is a triple threat match for the Intercontinental Championship. The Miz versus Seth Rollins versus Finn Balor. I think it's going to be Finn taking the win. I mean, I mean it could be Seth Rollins too. My per like my prediction is either Seth or Finn, but if I had to pick one to win that, it would be Finn. One hundred percent Finn. I think he's gonna do it. I think, yeah, I'd say he. I I'd say he's picking up the win for that match and becoming the new Intercontinental Champion. Next one is a fatal four way match for Randy Orton's United States Championship. Obviously, it's Randy Orton versus Bobby Roode versus Jinder Mahal versus Rusev. I had, I originally picked Rusev to win, but the more I thought about it, the more I thought Randy could possibly win that match, so I'm going with Randy. The reason why I changed my mind from Rusev to Randy is, one, Rusev hasn't won a pay-per-view match since Roadblock, End of the Line, in December 2016, which I think is hilarious, <laughs> because, like, I've never seen him streak that long for no pay-per-view wins. So, yeah, that's why I changed my mind from Rusev to Randy Orton. And the other reason why is because I feel like Randy Orton, it seems like Randy Orton hasn't been United States Champion that long. So I think Randy Orton will keep it. The next match is Alexa Bliss versus Nia Jax for the Raw Women's Championship. Now, 
these last couple days I've been going, I've been saying, okay, Alexa's going to win. Because, of course, because she's Alexa Bliss. But then, uh, like, a second later, or, like, ten minutes later, I would change her mind to Nia Jax. And now, I believe, Nia will win. I mean, I, Alexa's not a bad wrestler. I think she's a good wrestler, but she just, she is a bully. I mean, I know it's wrestling. Wrestling is apparently fake, but... She did talk a lot of stupid shit about Nia Jax. She did say Nia was f fat in a way. I mean, she didn't actually call her fat, but she just... The way she Alexa said that stuff about Nia, she practically said she was fat. Which, Nia's a plus-size woman. I'm a plus-size person myself. I'm proud of it. Nia is proud of it, too, so... Plus... I could tell Nia is really pissed off about what Alexa said about her, so I think Nia will take all that anger and take it out on Alexa Bliss and Mickey, of course, because Mickey was one had Alexa's help um, to talk all that shit about Nia. So I think Nia is gonna take all that anger and take it out on Alexa and Mickey James, and eventually become the new Raw Women's Champion. So I'm going with Nia. So, the next match is Charlotte Flair versus Asuka for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Okay. So, Carmella obviously has the Women's Money in the Bank briefcase. So, I'm thinking Asuka will win and Carmella will come out and cash in on her and fail it. Because... Apparently, I, I looked at my Instagram, and there's a page I'm following, which I'm obsessed with, that Facebook, not Facebook, Instagram account. Um, I can't remember what it's called. It's like Wrestling News or something, but they posted something, and they posted a picture on Instagram, and it basically said that Carmella is apparently going to fail her cash-in at WrestleMania and cash-in on Asuka. So, I agree with that. I think that's going to happen. I think Asuka's going to win that title from Charlotte and keep her undefeated streak going. And then after Asuka wins, Carmella's going to come out and cash in and fail it. So, I am I think that's what's going to happen. Asuka's going to win. Carmella's going to ca cash in her Money in the Bank briefcase on Asuka and fail. And, yeah, that's my prediction for that. Asuka's winning after Carmella cashes in. But, yeah. Okay. Cesaro and Sheamus defending the Raw Tag Team Championships against Braun Strowman and nobody knows yet, his mystery partner. Now, I'm going to talk about who Braun Strowman's partner could be after I tell you guys my predictions for WrestleMania, all the matches. So, um, I think no matter who Braun's partner will be, I think Braun and his mystery partner will be the new Raw Tag Team Champions because last year... The Hardy Boys returned, and they became the Raw Tag Team Champions, the new ones. Um, so I think if someone is going to return and be Braun's partner, I think it's going to be like last year's WrestleMania when the Hardy Boys returned and won. I think, I don't know, someone like Bobby Lashley or freaking CM Punk is going to make a surprise return and be Braun's partner and... When the when those titles bronze, so I think that's what's gonna happen. I, I'm not sure who I, who's gonna return or if anyone's gonna return, which I'd say someone will. But I'll get into that after I make my WrestleMania predictions. The next one is the New Day versus the Usos versus the Bludgeon Brothers. It's a triple threat tag team match for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. I'm going with the New Day because honestly, I feel like they may win that match, so I'm gonna go with them. No reason. I just feel like they're going to win. <laughs> so, yeah. And then the next one is Kurt Angle ver not versus Kurt Angle and Ronda Rousey versus Triple H and Stephanie McMahon in a mixed tag team match. Now, these are one of the very many matches that I'm really excited for. I'm really excited for this. I'm really excited to see Ronda make her debut or in-ring debut in WWE. Plus, so with that being said, I'm going to go with Kurt Angle and Ronda Rousey winning that because it seems like since I became a fan of wrestling, everyone has won their in-ring debut match. 
And I don't think that's going to be any different with Ronda Rousey. So I'm going with Kurt Angle and Ronda Rousey winning that over Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. And the final match, I'm also pretty excited for this because, like, one of these people are making their in-ring return after being medically cleared a couple weeks ago. It is Dana Bryan making his in-ring return. And Shane McMahon versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. If Owens and Zayn win, they will be rehired to SmackDown. But if Daniel and Shane win, Owens and Zayn will remain fired. I'm going with Kevin and Sammy. I mean, it, I really hope they get fired because I don't really like them that much. I find them really, you know, cocky and overconfident. So I hope they lose. But I don't think they will lose. I think they're going to win and be rehired to SmackDown. So. Those are all the all my predictions for WrestleMania. Um, and NXT TakeOver. Now I'm going to be getting into a little bit about who Braun Strowman's partner could be. I think. Okay. I've seen a lot of rumors, and my friend Sarah told me a couple rumors herself about that she heard about who Braun's partner could be. She told me it's she's heard Dean Ambrose being rumored. Um, someone else, but I can't remember who it was. But I okay, the rumors I've heard are Kane, Samoa Joe, Bray Wyatt, now Dean Ambrose, <laughs> Bobby Lashley returning, and. I think Sister Abigail has been a rumor, too, that I've heard. So those are seven rumors that I've heard being Braun's partner. But I think the one that makes the most sense to me is Bobby Lashley. Because there's been way too much, not really way too much, like in a bad way, but in a very exciting way, rumors that Bobby Lashley will return. So I think it could be a possibility that it could be him. I will not be mad if he does return because I've never seen him wrestle in my life before. And I think... It'd be, I think it'll be fun watching him wrestle for the first time in my life. So, plus, I've heard that he's a really good wrestler, and I'm really excited to see if he returns and, you know, becomes Braun's partner. It could be CM Punk as well. Um, I've heard, like, one or two rumors about CM Punk being his partner, but I've heard more rumors about Bobby Lashley being his partner than CM Punk and Dean Ambrose and Samoa Joe and stuff. So, I think the two or three that makes the most sense is Samoa Joe, Kane... No, Samoa Joe, Kane, Bray Wyatt, and Bobby Lashley makes the most sense for me, being his partner. So, but if I had to pick, I'd say there are two people that would make the most sense to be Braun's partner, and that is Bray Wyatt, considering he's been a tag team with Braun before, and he's... I don't know, he hasn't won a title with Braun before, but... He's been a tag team with Braun before, you know, the Wyatt family, Luke Harper, Eric Rowan, Braun Strowman, and Bray Wyatt. So it could be him, and it also could be um, Bobby Lashley, because like I said, he it's, there's a lot of rumors going around and speculating that he could return and be Braun's partner for, a ma for that match. So either Bobby Lashley or Bray Wyatt, I'm going with being Braun's partner, because those two make the most sense to me. Now, there's one more match. That may or may not be happening, but I'm going to give my predictions on that anyway. Because I honestly think that this, that one of these humans, that The Undertaker will come out and accept the other person's challenge. That That is The Undertaker versus John Cena. I'm really hoping that it happens. I really hope that John Cena will come out. Like, apparently John Cena said himself these past past couple weeks that he's going to give up calling out The Undertaker because he really wants that match to happen between him and Taker. But these last couple weeks, John has been saying that he's, he's giving up calling out The Undertaker and he's going to WrestleMania as a fan to watch WrestleMania with the other fans. Um, so... I think John Cena will jump out over the fan or the barricade where the fans are and grab a microphone and call it the Undertaker once again. And then you hear the gongs. The three or is it four? Three, four, five? I think it's three. Then you hear the gongs. No, it's it's four or five gongs, I know. But but then you hear the gongs. And Undertaker comes out and grabs the microphone and goes, I accept. And then the match starts. I'm hoping that'll happen. I'm 
praying that it'll happen. I'm going to pray tonight when I go to bed that it does happen because I pray every night. But when I pray tonight, and I'm going to do this tomorrow night as well. When I pray tonight and tomorrow night in bed, I'm going to go, God, please have Undertaker come out and accept John Cena's challenge. That, I hope that happens so much. So, if that happens, I'm praying to God it does. If it does, I predict The Undertaker. Because there is no way I can't see... There's like... I, I can't really see John winning against The Undertaker. Plus, The Undertaker streak is pretty much a legend itself. The Undertaker is a legend. His streak is pretty much a legend itself. I mean, it's 23, I think? To no, is it twenty one or twenty three? I don't know. I think I'm, I think it's like twenty two or twenty three. I don't know, but he's only lost two WrestleManias, and those matches were against Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. He's lost to Brock and Roman. So I'm gonna go with the Undertaker because I can't see John Cena beating the Undertaker at all. So that is it for today's video. Um, I know it was pretty long, but. What else can you do about it? Not a thing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys... I, I keep saying I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. Give Subscribe if you haven't already as well. And I'm really excited for WrestleMania and the Hall of Fame induction ceremony tonight. And NXT TakeOver tomorrow night. It's going to be a lit weekend. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys on next week's video back here. But if you're going to be watching my... Final Taste Test Tuesday on my main channel. I will see you guys Tuesday. So, yeah. Bye, guys.